and we have new ships being leaked and soon being sold. Guys, welcome to the channel. And in this case, we're going to check out uh, Kamuro's video on the leaked ships. Uh, and I haven't been playing a lot lately. Whatever I play, I try to do some video and upload it because I know you guys are interested in, in seeing how things are falling apart, I guess. Uh, I've also been pretty busy with what I actually do, the work. For me, that's prepare to survival and I have channels I write about that too in case you want to go check it out that's my uh, preparedness channel the modern survival is I have one in Spanish as well and my books which you well you actually have them over there and I'm pretty sure you have them on the links below in the description in case that's something you may be interested in uh, yeah that's that's what I do I, I don't um, you know do this I, I'm not shilling here for is Star Citizen, and neither is Kamuro, obviously, so I appreciate his content. Let's check this out and see what it is. Hello, everyone. Here we have the DW channel on Discord with more leaks. Leak determined 3.24.2 Game 2 DCP leaks. The following comes from an accidentally included version of the game DCB uh. that seemingly was not filtered of various sensitive information. By the way, I don't know when we are getting those vehicles, maybe for SalesonCon, maybe later. Craighead CEV, wheeled vehicle, with size 0 cooler power plant and shield, cargo rack, and the 3 size 5 miss. Yeah, I saw something, this is something they always do, I mean, doing another vehicle based on something existing, that's very typical. I read somewhere that they're gonna go with a, with a Stevie, uh, with a rocket launcher, so, I mean, it's the most stupid thing you could think of, but hey. Something else for them to sell, right? Um, then we have the Intrepid. This looks like another power creep. For example, Cyclone AA has just two size 2 missiles. Now we get a vehicle with three size 5s. Crusader Intrepid, starter ship with size 1 components. A few months ago, Hater115 showed us this picture of Intrepid. Scale down C1. With a freaking cannon on the side, overpowered for a couple of weeks, then they will just nerf the crap out of it, kill it, and you'll have to CCU it to something actually useful. Yeah. Haven't we seen this Misk before? Starlancer, exploration and resource gathering ship with size 2 components and a size 3 shield. Two size 4 pilot guns, two turrets with two size 4 guns each. Again, this looks like power creep. Nowadays, turrets have size 4 guns, 4 size 4 missile racks, and the variant BLD with drone seat. Yeah, I don't power creep. 2 size 4 pilot mod. Yeah, yeah it, it's almost like a Corsair these days, right? <laughs> I don't know what BLD stands for. Building, a ship for building outposts with drone seat. Yeah, drones are still not in the game. And Misk Fortune, a salvage ship with SAS 2 power plant and cooler, SAS 1 radar and quantum drive, and two SAS 2 guns for the pilot. It's a salvage ship with one salvage beam. I think Miss Fortune is a salvage ship in between Vulture and Reclaimer. Yeah. Thank yeah. you very, very much, Hater115, for all those leaks. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Okay, yeah, so you, you basically look at something in between the, the Vulture and the Reclaimer. Uh, again, more shit we don't need, while at the same time killing the ships you already bought. This is, this is unforgivable. The idea of destroying the ships you already paid hundreds of dollars for. Oh, it's being bounced. No, it's not. It's bait and switch. Classic bait and switch tactic. They sell you something and then it's something else. Oh, but they're, they're balancing. They're working on its alpha. That's got nothing to do with it. I mean... You sell something with one very specific characteristic, you could balance little things like, oh, it's a little bit faster, a little bit slower, here, but killing the idea of, of the ship itself, if it's a, a, a big, you know, ship heavy on weapons, and then you just murder its shooting capabilities, you just make that pointless. And you do it on purpose, because you know that when you nerf that thing to the ground, you will have to melt it or CCU it for something else. And you always end up dropping a few more bucks in that transition. That's just the way it is with these people. And it's it's getting, it's just too much. I mean, how damn greedy can you be? Well, Chris Roberts knows no limit to his greed. He is 
basically abandoning his idea of doing a game and just focusing on how much money he can milk from fools. That's it. That's all we have. Folks, it's going to be all for now. See you on the next video. Take care.